Hi and welcome to the video, I'm Dame and this is Dame Over and today is the first video looking at the new additions to Battlefield 1 that came with the final monthly update on June the 27th. If you'd like to know in detail what content dropped with the June update I've got a link in the description to a video I made a couple of days ago telling you all about it. For the next couple of weeks I'll be showing you the new content, taking an in-depth look at all the new weapons and variants that DICE have sent our way and giving some tips and tricks on how to get the most out of the new stuff. So if you want to keep up to date with those videos make sure you've hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on as well with the bell button so you don't miss out. Anyway back to today and the general loo rifle as you would have seen in the footage so far. Today is all about the changes that have been added to it. It has finally had its alternate fire mode added which means you can now switch to a bolt action fire mode that gives you more damage per shot at a slower rate of fire. The bolt action mode also has given the general loo a one shot sweet spot which is a first for the medic class. Essentially turning your self loading rifle into a sniper rifle if you so choose. I already made a video about the general loot including all the detailed stats so if you'd like to know what they are I've linked that video in the description as well but today we'll just focus on what the alternate fire mode has done to change it. So the bolt action mode gives the general loot the same stats as the Gewehr 98 as it apparently fires the same caliber of ammunition meaning that you have a minimum damage of 80 and a max of 100, a one shot sweet spot between 80 and 125 meters and it gives you the ability to get a headshot kill from any range. I can't say for certain what the fire rate is reduced to in bolt action mode but again it feels the same as the Gewehr 98 at 50 rounds per minute. Hopefully that information will come out in an official capacity sometime very soon. This is an entirely new way to play with the medic class, opening up brand new ways to approach each gunfight. The one shot sweet spot range is a little tricky to take advantage of because of the distance and the fact that you're using what essentially amounts to an infantry scout rifle. So making sure you get some practice in trying to take people out from range is definitely a good idea. The bullet velocity seems to be the same as the Gewehr 98 as well, but I can't say it is for sure as I can't find official detailed stats from anywhere, but it appears to be from my experience anyway. Meaning that you don't have to lead your targets that much even when they are moving because it's on the fast side. Switching between fire modes doesn't affect the amount of ammo you have in the clip, so going from semi-auto to bolt action with 4 rounds left means you'll have 4 shots for the bolt action mode and vice versa. This is all from a gun that is in the category of medic rifles that are a 3 shot kill from any range. The general loo can already be very good at mid to long range and the bolt action mode takes the level of effectiveness even further. It's incredibly useful when you're attacking an objective as you can pick off targets from a safe distance before you push in and using the semi-auto mode to clean up whoever is left. When defending you can thin the ranks as they move in as well and where I found it most useful was against other snipers and even more so against bipodded support players. With a minimum damage of 80 you're very likely to be either picking up an assist counts kill against a sniper or if they're already injured finishing them off. Against a support player that has deployed their bipod it's far easier to be a threat to them as you can pop in and out of cover to take shots without exposing yourself long enough to get killed and if your aim is good enough you can take them out in one shot to the head. Another very important aspect of the bolt action mode is that you don't have to come out of ADS to chamber in the next round, meaning you can keep your eye on the target the entire time. This is all without mentioning that you've got two variants of the general loot to choose from, the factory and the storm. In the clips you've been seeing I'm using the factory as it recovers faster from recoil than the storm, making it easier to use at range. But I think the difference between the two is so slight I'm still debating which is my favourite to use really. And as I talked about in my video about the general loot being an unsung hero of Battlefield 1, it is actually surprisingly good in close quarters. The time to kill for the General Lou beats the Fedorov by a very small margin and comparing it to the 8.25 Extended and the RSC it's not actually very far off those either. It's clearly not a CQB specialist weapon which is what I've compared it to here and if you were to come up against any of the assault weapons and some of the more faster firing LMGs then on paper you can expect to lose. But if we compare it to other more similar weapons it beats the Farquhar Hill, the Mondragon, M1907, the Howl and the Selbstschlager 1916 at all ranges with a significant advantage the time to kill at the 40 meter mark. Now some people think the iron sights are a bit crappy and I'd agree they are by no means the easiest to use amongst medic rifles but to be honest I've never really had much of an issue with them myself although in my experience iron sights in particular are mostly down to personal preference. You can see in the footage that a lot of the center portion of the screen is taken up by the rear portion of the barrel apologies for not knowing the actual name of it if any of you guys do then please do let me know what it's called and this tends to restrict your field of view quite a lot which understandably can make keeping track of your surroundings and 
and aiming more difficult. Hopefully it's just a case of getting used to it for most people, but I know this is enough to have put some people off using the General Lu completely. Even with that disadvantage, I think the General Lu can be a very effective weapon in its original form. Now with the added sniping possibilities, I think with highly skilled players, it could become one of the top choices, but that still remains to be seen. As far as I'm concerned though, it's turned every player that uses it into a self-healing, semi-aggressive, mid-range dominating reviver sniper. Well, at least that's all possible in theory anyway. What do you guys think of the alternate fire mode and the general loo? Do you think it's an improvement? Is it too hard to take advantage of the bolt action mode or is it overpowered? Make sure you let me know what you think down in the comments below. And a quick thank you to those of you guys that are helping to support the channel through Patreon. It's because of you guys that I'm able to put content out as often as I do and hopefully with a bit more support in the future I will be able to do this full time. So if you'd like to become a patron yourself I've left the link in the description. There's also going to be one in the pinned comment and a handy button on the end screen as well where it will take you to the patreon page and you can help if you'd like to support the channel from as little as one dollar a month so if you had a good time make sure you hit that like button if you're new around here hit the subscribe button too make sure you've hit the bell button for notifications so you don't miss any future videos feel free to share this video with whoever and wherever you like and until next time that's game over peace